Hi there, welcome. My name's Chris Cowan with Mining Journal and I've got Emerson CEO Hayden Locke on the line. Emerson's been uh, developing or is in uh, the process of launching development of its Chemiset Potash project in Morocco, having just launched its full feasibility study. Um, Hayden, I just wanted to start by asking you a little bit about Morocco for investors out there that, uh, that don't have a huge amount of background. Um, in the jurisdiction um, and perhaps just getting you to give us a bit of background on how it rates as a mining hub. Sure. Well, uh, you know, I've worked in and around Africa now for the best part of call it 15 years um, in a variety of jurisdictions. Um, and from my perspective, Morocco is easily one of the best jurisdictions I've operated in, in Africa. Um, you know, there's a variety of reasons for that, uh, but it is very well developed from an infrastructure perspective, very well developed from a, you know, an education perspective uh, and just the, the quality of the workforce. They see themselves as far closer to European as, than they do to, okay. you, know, you know, African. So it's a, it's a really good place to work. I think I would say that the mining industry is fairly nascent. And so there's a huge push from the government to support new companies coming in and trying to build something in the mining industry. So from that perspective, you know, again, always very positive feedback from the, from the government in terms of that perspective. Um, you know, for people who haven't visited Morocco, I'd suggest you do. It's, uh, it is a very popular tourist destination, there's no doubt about it. Um, but from my perspective, it is one of the easiest first destinations for people to go to in Africa. Um, very, very safe, very easy to operate, very easy to get around. So for us, in terms of an African jurisdiction to build a mining business, it's about as good as it gets. Okay. I mean, that, that correlates well with what we do with our investment risk index at Mining Journal. I think Morocco is, uh, is either the top rated or in the top two rated African jurisdictions. Um, one of the areas we don't look at um, necessarily as closely as other areas in terms of risk is infrastructure. Building a potash project that's probably more important than many other commodities you might be looking at. How does it stack up in terms of uh, what you've got there, rails, ports, roads, uh, power, et cetera? Morocco is very much an infrastructure leader in, in Africa. I think um, anyone who's visited there or tried to do business there would agree that the infrastructure is just about as good as anything you would get in Europe. Uh, that's roads, electrical power, railway lines, ports, they have some of the biggest ports in Africa, some of the most efficient ports in Africa, um, and the, just the general infrastructure is absolutely outstanding. Now, there are regions of Morocco where the infrastructure is more sparse, but we're very fortunate in Chemiset that we're uh, less than 100 kilometres from the coast. Uh, we're not in a populated area, but we're certainly in an area where there is a need for that infrastructure to have been in place, and so we certainly benefit from that. Um, I think one of the biggest drivers for us is uh, you know, that infrastructure has been built up over the last 20 years. Um, there's been a huge amount of money invested in it. And as it currently stands, it's nowhere near at its capacity. So we, have, we are going to benefit from that in the development of this project in, in, every sense of the, in every sense of the word. Okay. And in the current climate, I uh, do need to ask you about how Morocco is faring with the COVID-19 crisis uh, first of all uh, I guess infection rates and what's actually been the impact at the moment uh, and then how well set up is is Morocco to cope with the crisis going forward and are there likely knock-on effects for the development of Chemiset? Morocco reacted very very quickly I mean relative to say the UK where we're based uh, it, they reacted incredibly quickly to lock down the country when it, it became apparent that this may, pour, may cause uh, some issues in the country. Um, and so in terms of impact of coronavirus and levels of infections, it's very, very low. Uh, they, the, the, one of the benefits you have in a constitutional monarchy where a lot of the power resides in the king is they can make a decision very quickly to do things that you might not necessarily be able to do in the United States, for example. So as far as it goes in terms of coronavirus, they've been very lucky and they've avoided uh, any real uh, spikes and, and high level uh, death tolls. Uh, so that's very positive. It is still under lockdown at this point in time, although there are, there are you know, you're allowed to move outside of your home, but they're limiting travel between cities. Would that impact the ongoing um, operation of a mining project? Probably not. A lot of the big mining projects are still operating. I think they just operate within the confines of that, uh, that uh, directive from the government. 
Um, is it impacting us today? No, we're very fortunate in that we had finished all of our major field work and we weren't in construction when the lockdown occurred. So all of our work at the moment and ongoing work for the next six to nine months is going to be desk-based. Uh, at the end of the year, we probably will need to have some ability to get in and to site, potentially to take investors there or potential strategic partners there. So if it carries on, it could have an impact on us uh, later on in the year, but at this stage, we don't think it will. Okay, Hayden Locke, thanks very much for your time.